Following St. Kitts and Nevis' first voluntary national review on progress being made on implementing the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development at the High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, the team responded to queries raised by other participating countries and organizations. Led by Government Minister Conrad Maynard, the team provided information ranging from social programs to energy, youth, housing, climate resilience and data collection. Our country is looking at how we transition uh, to energy as a sector where we get in the business of selling affordable energy to attract new energy intensive businesses. At present, our electrical tariffs are prohibitive for industrial growth and uh, inhibitive to socioeconomic development. Thus, Given the abundance of solar energy in St. Kitts and Nevis, and if you haven't visited, I invite you to see for yourself, it is the recommendation to our citizens and investors to solarize. St. Kitts and Nevis has made progress in reducing poverty, with a proportion of the population classified as poor decreasing over the years. Poverty remains concentrated in female-headed households, youth, elderly, and persons with disabilities. The government has implemented various programs and interventions to address poverty, including cash transfers, mean testing social protection interventions, and skills and entrepreneurship training, among others. We have adopted a whole of society approach to um, address poverty and inequality with active participation and collaboration with the private sector and civil society. Across various sectors, the government is, impl is implementing policies and programs towards reducing inequality and promoting social, economic, and political inclusion for all citizens. In March of 2023, the government launched the Seniors Daycare Program in three communities across our beautiful island of St. Kitts, where elderly participants will regularly engage in various fun and educational activities. On our sister island, Nevis, the administration launched since 2013 a structured seniors recreational and health check program and instituted free utility services for seniors 65 and over. More the targets to be achieved under the plan have therefore been synergized with the targets of the 2030 agenda in order to achieve acceleration. In addition, we continue to work with line ministries, civil society, and the private sector to promote alignment of their strategic plans, programs, and budgets with the SDGs. The unavailability of SDG-specific st statistics has presented a challenge in monitoring the SDGs and conducting analyses and data mining for effective decision-making, and therefore can present a roadblock to acceleration. We believe by including youth voices in these processes, we can ensure that the concerns of marginalized groups are effectively addressed. While both youth and the government agree that more can be done to engage our youth, there is also a recognition of the significance of structured youth involvement at the national level. For example, the National Sustainable Development Coordination Committee. We believe that such structured involvement ensures that youth perspectives are considered and integrated into decision-making process. The Sinkis Nevis delegation to the United Nations High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development 2023. Glenn Bart reporting for SKN Newsline.